If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys the best strategic way for you guys to level up your competitive pass i'm going to be going through all the objectives and i'm going to show you guys what you guys should be doing first how you guys should be going away about it and i mean there's pros and cons to everything meaning that there's good things a lot the uh good things that ea has done and there's also other things that i think is poorly uh was poorly done by them but i'm going to break it all down but when it comes to your competitive pass it shouldn't be as complicated as it was last year it's just getting the hang of how they basically um, formatted everything so once we get through all those little nooks and crannies then it'll be a lot better for us in order to uh, grind but anyways let's go ahead and get right into it so the first thing you want to do is come over here um, push your right trigger and then go to the competitive pass which you guys see I'm already on it and keep in mind it's for 48 days well I think it's like 50 days but I think right now as I'm doing it's 48 days so it's longer than usual so there's gonna be a different way that we go about it. But just so you guys know, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did every single week. And I'm gonna to continue to update you guys and continue to update the strategies and so forth. And the reason why I say that is because um, there'll be some things that'll probably be updating, right? Which is gonna be, wait, right now you can't, oh, here we go. Click on it. It's gonna be these dailies, which I actually like that they're giving us daily objectives for our competitive pass, strictly for the competitive pass. So that's a big plus. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is your daily objectives. Come to your daily objectives and say, okay, what do I got to get done first? And the good thing is, your daily objectives is usually gonna match up to your other objectives in the game. So keep that in mind. So your daily objectives has to pertain to mutt champs, solo battles, and season games. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. It has nothing to do with your regular games that you're gonna play from day to day, like your solo challenges, stuff like that. It only has to do with the mutt champs, solo battles, and season games. Very easy. Um, pass for pass, passing yards is this one's passed for 275 plus yards in a, in a single game. So, so make sure you keep that in mind. It's going to be done in a single game. The strategy is going to come in right now. So keep in mind, I'm going to break down the strategy so it, it can all come together. So that got to be done in the single game. The rushing yards don't. So you need 500 yards in a single game. It, it's, it's a lot that they're doing. But I'm glad that they're giving us daily objectives up to us. We want to complete them. But make sure you guys do that every single day. And you're going to get... Um, it's not even competitive points no more. It's basically competitive XP, right? It's comp pass XP. That's what they're considering it. And we're going to get tons of rewards for that. So you, the reason why I tell you guys come and look at this first, because you want to see what you guys got to be able to do and see how you be able to complete tons of objectives within one game. That's how, you, that's how I, um, I tell you guys how to basically do it. That's the strategy. And the first thing you guys are going to want to do, in my opinion, is want to do solo battles. Mud Champs is gonna take a lot longer because some day, some people may quit, some people may not. And you gotta sit there and not only win the game, but you gotta complete certain objectives within the Mud Champs, which makes it a lot more frustrating. So keep that in mind. It's not only winning games now, it's completing, it's winning games, but completing objectives within those particular um, games. So for instance, this is Mud Champs. It tells you to kick up to six field goals and mud champs in general. Think about that, right? That's 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 a little bit of a nuisance because you're not always gonna be kick kicking field goals. See, in solo battles, you can actually play the game, kick your field goals, whatever, and still win the game. You're playing mud champs. How about if you score tons of touchdowns and you don't get tons of field goals? The good thing is it's an incentive for those who are like, you know what, I don't wanna go for the field goal and I just wanna go for it on fourth down. It's a good incentive for it to be like, okay, well, at least I'll get objective done out of it. So if that's the case, um, all you got to do is at least complete six field goals and you'll get that done. But the thing is, you have to complete it in that particular game, which is here is Mud Champs. But I'll tell you guys right here. After you go through your daily objectives, come to the, the solo battle. Um, I wouldn't even say field pass, but come to the solo battle section of the comp pass. There you go. I should say it like that. And the reason why I say that is because when you do the solo battles, you're going to be completing a lot of other objectives. It's the easiest. And here's the great thing. Unlike last year or previous years, is that because I looked up everything to make sure before I did this video, you do not, there's no incentive for doing it on legend at all. 
So I'm doing it so easy because I'm playing everything on rookie. I don't even care. Everything's gonna get played on rookie and I'm gonna get all this stuff knocked out. So that's a good thing. We don't even have to play on legend no more. Playing on legend or whatever the case may be, it's just to climb the ladder, ladder whatever you wanna call it, ladder or to make yourself, I don't care for that. I just want the rewards, that's all I want. And if they're not giving me no legendary rewards or there's no incentive for playing on legend, I'm not going to. So the good thing is you can play on rookie and complete all these objectives, anyone could do it. I don't care if you're five, six, seven, eight years old, you're gonna be able to complete this now with no problem because you're able to play on rookie, at least for the solo battles. So get all those objectives done. What I did was, here's a strategy, cause I know I told you guys I'm gonna strategize. I looked at, okay, I was like, well, what do I gotta do first? Um, or what should I do and how can I get all, a lot of this stuff done in um, each game? So I was like, okay, the rushing is gonna be more of a problem for me. And to keep in mind, here's a daily objective right here, rush for 500 yards. So I put that together and I'm like, you know what? There's rushing touchdowns and I know the rushing yards is probably gonna take a little bit more longer. So let me go ahead and just get this out the way in the first game. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. The first, first game, I got the rushing touchdowns done and I got the rushing yards done. Um, the return kicks, you can get that done within the first uh, game too, because you're playing on rookie. I would tell you guys to play on rookie because there's no incentive to play on, on legend. I got that done within the first three kickoffs because sometimes you, you ain't gonna be able to get the first 200 yards in the first kickoff. First three kickoffs, I was able to get that done. And also, I wanna share with you guys, cause some of you guys may get this confused, right? It says score 40, 49 plus points in the fourth quarter. So some people, some people may interpret that as, okay, I gotta wait to the fourth quarter in order to score 49 points and get it done within that game meaning that you have to score 49 points in the fourth quarter. So that's not what they're saying. What they're saying is, and the reason why, because I did it myself, is that you just gotta score points in the fourth quarter up to 49 points. So say for instance, if I score 20 points in the fourth quarter in the first game, I could go to the second game and score another 20 points in the fourth quarter and they they actually add up. So, you, you, so if you score, if you don't score 30, 49 points in the first game, um, it doesn't mean you have to go to the next game and try again over again to score the 49 points No, it carries over and it stacks. So keep that in mind So that's the good thing because I was like a little bit like oh man, that's gonna be I ain't saying we can't do it But I'll be a lot. It'll be a lot harder to score 49 points in one game in the fourth quarter So just know that they all you have to score 49 points in the fourth quarter But it could be carried over to each game and the points will stack up so you can score seven points in the fourth quarter here another seven in the next game in the fourth quarter and all that stuff adds up so it's basically it's 49 points and seven touchdowns seven 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 times um yeah seven times seven is 49 so seven touchdowns you'll be able to get your 49 points and you could score that you could i was able to get well like three to four touchdowns in each fourth quarter because i'm playing on rookie so it was a lot easier all right so now let's go up here so once i got the rush touchdown all that in what i started doing was because all we need is total offensive yards and then we needed um, 30 first downs, which I think is ridiculous, but it, it don't have to be all done in one day, even though I did, because that's the thing is, I'm showing you guys how to get it done faster, but that's why it was ridiculous, because I want to get it all done one day. So after I got the, the rushing touchdowns and the rushing yards for my daily objectives, I started getting my passing touchdowns and my first downs. So I, I started start throwing a gang of first downs, completing them, getting my passing touchdowns and so forth, which you see, I still got more to go. Um, but that's how I strategize. That's why I got most of everything done already. The last thing I'm gonna do is complete the 35 um, plus third conversions, which in the in the end I usually don't even get the third conversions. But now I'm gonna have to force my game to go to third downs in order to get the third conversions. So that's why I'm saving it for last. Once I get all the solo battle objectives done, then I go ahead and just uh, start doing all the third third down conversions and intentionally getting to third down in order to convert. Um, the third down conversion. So I'm gonna do that last. So that's what I'll encourage you guys in order to start grinding out this competitive pass and getting it done fast. After that, what I'll do is go to Mud Champs. But here's the thing, play Mud Champs if you're feeling it. If you're not really in the mood for playing it, then you're not really gonna wanna play and you're gonna end up quitting like myself. I'm dumb, I'll be winning the game sometimes. I was like, you know what? They'll do something dumb and I'll quit out just cause I'm frustrated. Um, so make sure you're filling that game. If you are filling it, play Mud Champs. If you're not, then go ahead ahead seasons. Cause head to head seasons, I don't know, is it this year? Is there a, is there a, um, yeah, there is. 
Uh, there is because you have to get 25 and 0 in Mud Champs in order for you guys to get the million coins. So there is, it, it is going to reset every single week. Um, so that's the thing is you're only able to play so many Mud Champ games. So I would say only if you're feeling Mud Champs, play it. If you're not, then don't play it. And then go over here and do the head-to-head -head season last. The good thing is, is this is perpetual, meaning that you can play as many head-to-head -head seasons as you want. So go over there, kick your field goals. Even if, like, say, for instance, like, oh, I'm not even tripping on winning, just go over there, start kicking your field goals, getting a lot of these objectives done. What I will probably do is play the game. Um, if I'm in field goal range, I'll go ahead and just kick a field goal. Um, and it, same thing right here. It says score 35-plus points in the fourth quarter. So... That's the thing is, if you end up in fourth quarter, fourth quarter score whatever you can, but that with there is going to be up to because some people don't even last in the fourth quarter, don't even last up to the fourth quarter, so that'll be kind of hard. But hopefully, some people will stay longer just so they can try to get some points. But that'll take a little bit longer. But the main thing is is going um, into solo um, head to head season is probably the last, and then start knocking all those out. It'll be a lot easier. The rewards are pretty good. Gonna be a leveled up pretty fast. I'm already level. It shows you here. I'm about to get level five. Um, I've got pretty decent rewards, but my plan is um, within a few days I'll be able to have a lot of that stuff knocked out. You already see I have the soul battles knocked out. Now I'll go to the mud champs once again. If I'm feeling it, if I'm not, I won't. If I'm not feeling, it, I'll just go to season games and then start getting a lot of those objectives done because the wins as well as the uh, objectives will start counting. So there it is. There. If you guys have any questions, people in the comment section. Until next time, I'm out.